Hi, I'm Aniki Nippon. Today, I'm here to review a movie called Eat, Pray, Love. And I know exactly what Gabri Sedebe was saying after this film. Same thing she said at the awards ceremony. I'ma go home and order me some church's chicken. Let's face it, this entire movie was about female empowerment, but I think it's anything but. If the book author tried to apply to a company after her trip to Bali, this is what the interviewer would say to her. So the reason that you quit your job was because you wanted to go somewhere and marvel at something? Yeah. Well, we'll call you in about two weeks and uh, get back with you, okay? But this is after work with his co-workers at a bar. She won't even get hired at McDonald's, for God's sake. And I was like, yeah, we'll call you back in two weeks. <laughs> I don't even know why she applied. That was the stupidest thing she could have done. I just thought to myself, look lady, you better either write a book or land a movie deal because that's the only way you're going to ever get hired again. This movie should have been renamed to Get Fat, Waste Time, and Be Discontent. At the beginning of the movie, everything's going perfectly well. She gets married, she has a career, she has everything she's ever wanted. But then she decides somehow that she doesn't like it anymore. No one really knows what the purpose of life is. That's why people still work hard regardless of whether or not they know what their exact purpose is. But this maverick quits her job in order to find it by gorging and chasing meaningless fantasies and not actually helping the world around her. But it somehow makes her feel better. And feeling good for yourself is what we should pursue. Not actually doing something for the world like earning income and paying taxes and instead we should just drop everything by leaving your supposed love of your life to take a year-long vacation because life isn't perfect. I just want to marvel at something. Who the fuck doesn't? This is not a heartwarming story. The movie's about gorging and sucking the life out of life by wasting time. It's no different than one of those movies like Mamma Mia that's meant to make people feel better, but it's not actually a good story. But it has good music! So what? The mom was a whore. She didn't know who her daughter's father was because she fucks so often. Anyways, don't waste your money. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your effort. Don't take anybody to see this movie and don't watch it. You actually can save money and waste time right now by just meditating at home. Well, for what it's worth, give me a thumbs up, comment on it, subscribe, favorite it.